Hello, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rusty Kitten and today I will be teaching you how to install the graphics mod for lower end PCs that I featured on this channel before. If you haven't seen that video yet, I suggest you go and watch it, the link is in the description. Before going any further, you must know that you cannot use this mod or any mod if you are playing GTA Online. Using mods, even graphics mods, will get you banned from GTA Online. Keep that in mind. Alright, so first you need to download a couple of things. Open4, ScriptHook5, 7-Zip or WinRAR, and finally the graphics mod. I put the download links for all of these in the description down below, so go ahead, download all of these, and save them somewhere we can find them easily. Now that everything is downloaded, go ahead and install Open4. Double click it and just do what I do. After the installation is finished, click on this Windows button and select your GTA 5 installation location. If you don't know where your GTA 5 installation is at, the easiest method to finding it is just to right click on the desktop icon and click open find location. And here it will show you where your installation is located at. Now that you have done that, click continue and wait till open for finds the encryption key. This may take several minutes. After that is done, click on ASI Manager and install ASI Loader and Open4.ASI. And when it asks you if you want to install the mod folder, click Yes. After it finishes, close Open4 and go to where you downloaded the files I told you to download before. Now you need to extract script hook 5 by right clicking and selecting extract. After the extraction is finished, go into this bin folder, select everything in it, right click and press copy. Then go to your GTA 5 installation folder and right click on an empty space and paste it here. If it asks you to replace something, replace it. Now that we have set up everything, we can go and finally install the graphics mod. Right click and extract the mod. Keep opening folders until you get to these two folders called update and x64a. Now start up open4, double click on the desktop icon. Open your update folder and there should be an update.rpf folder in it. Now find that same folder in open4. Hit the edit mode button over here. And when you get this red banner, click on copy to mods folder and wait till it copies. Now you can see that the files and folders we need to edit are copied to the mods folder. Now do the same thing to the x64a file. When you are done with that, select your mods folder and click edit mode. Now open the update folder, then the update.rpf in open4 and when you see these files, go ahead and replace them with the mod files that you have downloaded. Just drag and drop. When that is done, go back to your mods folder and open the x64a.rpf 
RPF folder. Now head back to your mod files, open the X64A folder and drag the textures folder to open 4. And that is it. The graphics mod is now installed. If you want to delete the graphics mod, simply go to the mods folder in open4, press the button edit mode and select the folders replaced and press the delete button on your keyboard. This will remove the graphics mod. That is it for this tutorial. Check out my channel for other videos, follow me on social media and don't forget to leave a like. If you have any questions or simply you just want to say thank you, uh, comment down below. If you want to support my channel, consider donating $1 or buying one of my t-shirts or hoodies. Once again, thank you for watching and I will be seeing you guys next time. Bye bye.